A powerful hurricane is making its way towards the United States' east coast after carving a path of destruction through the Bahamas. Hurricane Dorian swept through the islands across Sunday and Monday, and it's the strongest storm to ever hit the country. Well, at least seven deaths have been reported and hundreds more remain missing. And a clearer picture of the devastation is only now beginning to emerge. All ecliptic scenes out of the Bahamas following a monster hurricane. Dorian pounded the islands for a day and a half, devastating homes and crippling key infrastructure. The islands of Grand Bahama and Abaco were worst hit, with around half the homes there believed to be destroyed. Going through it was, was terrifying. And I, again, I, I had no idea it was going to actually be to that extent. It, it, it was just worse than anything I could have imagined. But even as authorities come to terms with the disaster, a humanitarian crisis is already unfolding. Thousands of residents have been left without shelter. The UN says more than 60,000 people are in need of food, while the Red Cross estimates that same number need clean drinking water. U.S. officials are assisting in relief efforts, and the local government has vowed to do all it can. We are in the midst of one of the greatest national crises in our country's history. The government will bring to bear every resource of state possible to help the people of Abaco and Grand Bahama or any other island nation that's necessary. Life to me is by far more important than money. And if that means saving a life would interfere with my budget, I prefer to save a life. Residents have also united to tide through the tragedy, with some using jet skis and boats to help the stranded. Dorian is now edging towards the U.S. east coast. It's forecast to come dangerously close to Florida, where more than a million people have been ordered to evacuate.